Breakfast is one of the joy of the travel, but sometimes it costs a lot if you get at the hotel you stay. And also, you might want to leave early in the morning for sightseeing and not want to wait in the hotel until the breakfast time starts. But what you find in Tokyo for breakfast might be a little different from what you get in your country. So, today I'd like to show you what you can find for breakfast in the center of Tokyo. Hello, friends, I'm in Shinjuku Central Park in the west side of Shinjuku Station. And today I'd like to go to 10 different chain restaurants in Tokyo that you can get breakfast around 7 or 8 a.m. Many chain restaurants open at 11 for lunch and not open in the morning. So today I'd like to see what you can get around this time for breakfast in case you don't have breakfast for your hotel plan. And as I was filming for the first time, a couple from Saudi Arabia talked to me that they watch my channel. Thank you so much. So that is a park Hyatt. And this is a Tokyo Metropolitan Government building. This is a Hyatt Regency. And Hilton Tokyo is here. Nishishinjuku is a place, there are lots of international brand hotels. So today in Nishishinjuku, I'd like to walk around and see what we can find. The first breakfast place we go is right in front of Shinjuku Chuo Park, Denny's. It's a little different from American Denny's. You can get some bread and egg dish for around 660 yen, including drinks. A little less than 5 US dollars. Drink is a self-serve drink, so you can get any coffee or drink as much as you like. It's good when you want simple egg, sausage, bread, breakfast. This Denny's in Nishi Shinjuku has a nice location overlooking the Shinjuku Chuo Park. Now rush let's go hour. through the morning rush hour Nishi Shinjuku and head to the next one. This is the Hilton Tokyo. And behind this Hilton, there is a coffee shop called Komen. Komeda is a coffee shop chain from Nagoya. If you order any drink in the morning, you get free toast. If that's not enough, you can order a sandwich from a regular menu too. Their sandwich is really my favorite. The coffee is around 600 yen, so Komeda is not the cheapest option, but teriyaki chicken sandwich and egg sandwich is really good. Now let's go towards the Omekaido Street. And if you come out this street, there's a Dotto, the, another coffee shop. Dotto is a coffee shop that you see a lot in Tokyo or any other cities in Japan. They have sandwich all day, but in the morning, they offer a small breakfast sandwich for 450 yen, which is about 350 US dollars, with small coffee. It seems most of the location opens at 7, some open later on the weekend at 7 30 or 8. So that is a Hyatt, and this is the Omekaido Street. And on the other side, there is Yoshinoya. And across from the Dotto, I found Yoshinoya, probably the most famous beef ball shops in Japan. They also offer breakfast set. It starts from 437 yen. Somehow it comes with natto, which is a fermented beans. I don't know how many of you can eat it. I ordered a grilled salmon and beef. It was really good. I always want you to be careful to the bone of the fish when you eat fish, but it seems Yoshinoya offers a part of the salmon that doesn't have bone. It's a salted salmon that goes with rice, so it might be a little different from the salmon sauté that you see in the western countries. It's not the most reasonable one for breakfast, but you get enough protein, I think. And family mart. And sushi curry is not open yet. And this is nakao. And the next stop is Nakao. Egg and rice, 290 yen. It's bacon, 360 yen. Nakao is a shop serves oyakodon, 
which is an egg coated chicken bowl. So I thought I ordered the Oyakodon bowl, but it was Kyoto style pork miso soup, which is called tonjiru. It comes with a raw egg that you put on the rice and eat it. You can also order Oyakodon from the regular menu. Once you come to Nakao, I recommend Oyakodon. For next 10 years, 20 years, Shinjuku Station will be all under construction. They are going to make two or three tall buildings in the station. And next one open for the breakfast is Cafe Beloche. Beloche is another casual coffee shop chain, and the price is a little lower than Dotto. You see many shops of Beloche in Tokyo city center. They have breakfast sandwich and also some bread that you can pick up all day. As a similar coffee shop, you will find this store called Beck's Coffee in the JR East stations. I ordered a sausage and a potato hot sandwich and it was 470 yen, coming with a small drink. And some family restaurants that you see a lot in Tokyo is Jonathan. Open from 7 a.m. Jonathan is almost like Denny's, but a little more casual, I feel. So this space, everything is automatic. It counts. You just sit wherever you want. You order from the tablet. The food comes by the machine. And uh, you pay at the self-checkout. So if when you don't want to talk with anybody, it's good. But then, and they have lots of different kind of teas and coffees. So the food is maybe a little small portion, but uh, in case you want to take your time with just in the morning, you don't want to rush, you want to come with your family, maybe it's good because it has lots of space and you don't have to worry about the time. You don't have to eat quickly and leave, so you can relax from the morning. It seems most burger opens at 8 in the morning, so probably you can enjoy after lunch. Matsunoya is a tonkatsu restaurant that is branched out from Matsuya, a beef bowl shop. It opened at 5 a.m. and the most reasonable breakfast is 290 yen, egg bowl and miso soup. You can also eat tonkatsu for a reasonable price in the morning. You know, everyone has morning feeling like tonkatsu, right? And the last one I introduce is Skia, one of the three beef bowl chains in Japan. They are everywhere in Japan and also offer breakfast for a reasonable price. You can also go to the convenience store and get bread and coffee and bring it to your hotel or eat in the park. I hope you could get a snapshot of the breakfast in Tokyo. Thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Tokyo. Have a great week. Until the next video.